Hi, Naked Author, Jason William Michener Galbraith, Greatest Author of My Generation, G-A-O-M-G. Uh, Father's Day is coming up. Uh, I may or may not have a son, Donovan. Uh, DNA will prove that you are my son, if you are. And uh, I don't know if you watch these videos anymore, but the only way that I could try to communicate with you was utilizing 21st century technology and using YouTube because uh, when I lost my uh, jobs, I wasn't able to afford lawyers to fight, uh, to have my rights represented, to have a relationship with you. Uh, I suggest you read like all of your court papers in New Jersey, California, uh, Baltimore, Maryland, because uh, they affect your life, you know, for the rest of your life. You've been brainwashed to hate me, your own father, if I am your father by DNA. Uh, and I mean like the things that your mother did uh, I mean this just talks about right here is that if your mother relocates to Baltimore Maryland area uh, father's child support payments to the mother for Donovan including father's 50% contribution towards mother's network related child care expenses associated with Donovan she'll be suspended uh, these are all in the court papers. Your mother agreed to waive child support if I agreed for her to move to Maryland with you, which I wanted her to be happy and move on. Uh, I never loved your mother. I just always thought of her as a really good friend. We had an open relationship the whole time we were together. And uh, uh, when she turned around, I never thought she would, you know, try to destroy my life the way she did. Um, I agreed. For her to move to baltimore maryland to move on with your fake father and she moved to maryland and turned around and demanded child support and uh I, i've also paid uh it's sixty thousand um, dollars to you uh to your mother which i don't know how much of that money you ever saw but when i lost my jobs you know during the great recession by the newhouse family that owns the star ledger advanced internet uh, that hurt me tremendously because the court still expected me to pay uh, your mother's child support that she demanded that she originally waived uh, based on how much money I was making at that time. So when I lost those uh, well-paying jobs, paying child support became a big issue that my license was suspended. I had to go in front of court and explain to them why Rupert Murdoch fired everybody during the pandemic and all this type of stuff. I mean, other weird stuff that your mother did. She talked about the courts. Like she was like, "Oh, I I wear a speedo, run around New York City, the naked author." Like your generation, you should understand branding yourself. Like my name, Jason Michner. That I'm not even a Michner, nor are you. And you probably took your fake father's last name now as well. But uh, uh, we're really descended from the paternal side of uh, Robert the Bruce, King of the Scots. And all of my DNA, I have tons of proof about that. And that'll be something that only I can give to you. So no matter what a fake father or anything else you do with your name or anything, your DNA, who you are, is from what I gave to you and you can never change it. And it's very powerful. I mean, other things that your mother did, she put in one court order that the defendant shall be permitted to take the child, that's you, Donovan, to MMA events as long as the defendant himself is not training or participating in the event. The child is properly supervised by the defendant and then the child is immediately removed from any age inappropriate behavior takes place. So you're telling me like Mike Tyson when he fights in front of his family his children can't see him fight? Uh, I mean, Conor McGregor fighting in front of his kids is ridiculous. It's a sporting event that I'm very proud of all of my accomplishments inside the cage. And uh, again, one of the greatest victories wasn't the one that I knocked out my opponent, ran up on the cage in front of my partner of over a decade, which was great. My biggest victory, and I told you I won, and I did, was after I defeated stage four cancer. We could get back in the cage and fight and that's one of the most emotional powerful wins ever is defeating cancer and being able to get back in the cage and fighting and that was something i was trying to 
share with you and explain to you but everything i've ever done has been like twisted and brainwashed uh because i lost my jobs because your mother demanded child support that she agreed to waive when she moved to maryland uh i was painted as like a deadbeat dad that it's like my fault that the great recession happened it's my fault everybody got fired from the star ledger advanced internet the pandemic i mean your your father defeated Rupert Murdoch uh, for $1.47 million. And that justifies to the world, Rupert Murdoch's a dick and your dad was Robin Hood. I fought for everybody that got fired and I made Rupert Murdoch pay $1.47 million to everybody that he fired during the pandemic while he made record profits. Anybody that it's against me because I couldn't pay child support that was supposed to be waived because I lost my jobs from Rupert Murdoch from the Newhouse family that owns a star ledger to F you. I don't control Rupert Murdoch. I'm just one of the employees. When I lose my $100,000 job, I have trouble paying for lawyers to fight for my uh, parental father's rights, everything and the way that you've been brainwashed and you've been going to therapists telling telling you that i'm like a bad person for what writing books for having dreams for trying to uh, make a name for myself your generation should know about branding yourself about your nil your name image license trying to capitalize on who you are and your brand my name jason michener no one's going to remember that when i first took my books to new york city i pick naked author it's easy for people to remember they can google that and everything uh i mean you should understand everything that your biological father has done fought for overcome it's amazing everything that i've done it's all documented on youtube and i'm so proud of everything that i've accomplished fighting in the cage overcoming cancer not letting your mother and the system destroy me I finally got my passport back and I could travel the world and I'm gonna love every second of that. I'm gonna go to Scotland, demand all of my Galbraith ancestral castles, demand my titles, all this type of stuff. And it's amazing what I'm doing. It's so amazing. And then I uh, did a, a DNA test on you. This was back in uh, 2006. I did this and it came back by National Geographic in 2006. It said that your DNA is uh, in parts of Spain and Ireland, that number exceeds 90% by your DNA. Uh, and that's in 2006. And so I got a tattoo of the greatest warrior in Spain is El Cid, thinking I'm Spanish. And then I tattooed an Irish clan, your name, uh, that I'm not even Irish or Spanish and I found out who I am and that's Robert the Bruce and if you are my son you will have Robert the Bruce's DNA this is my haplogroup right here and this shows you from my haplogroup here's Robert the Bruce uh, that's exactly who I am. You can't make up this DNA. And if you're my son, you're going to have Robert the Bruce's DNA right here. It's a rare connection. Like I can show you, I'm also distantly related to Tsar Nicholas the Romanovs. That's Nido and everything like that. But it's nowhere near what I'm connected to. Direct paternal descendant of Robert the Bruce, King of Scots. And I'll show you, this is Robert the Bruce. It's a rare connection and it's my SNP. It's a, a huge mutated DNA that absolutely confirms my DNA connection to the Bruce. And it, I go even further with it. Uh, his DNA, they've extracted Robert the Bruce's DNA and they've taken it from, it's called the the Clackmannan Bruce's and this is their DNA that they have to prove that you're related. That branch is where the, the uh, chief is right now of House of Bruce, uh, family of Bruce. I sent my DNA to family of Bruce and confirmed uh, my DNA descendant, a direct 
paternal ancestor from Robert the Bruce. And it's a rare connection from the Hapla group, but I go even deeper than that, very close to Robert the Bruce. And the clock Manon is the, the branch that everybody's looking at. Uh, when you look at my DNA, this is me right here, BY19223. And when you put that in with Robert the Bruce, right here, BY19223, there's Robert the Bruce again. Only 108 customers. Uh, there's over 6 million users on Family Tree DNA and over 8.1 billion people in the world. This connection, direct paternal, paternal descendant of Robert the Bruce is so rare. And that is my exact paternal to paternal, unbroken chain to Robert the Bruce, King of the Scots. I'm not like kind of related to Robert the Bruce. I am directly descended from the Bruce, House of Bruce. And I have the DNA to prove it. I've posted this. And if you're my son, you really are my son, you are also going to have this exact, exact DNA. And then even when you compare it, you can take my DNA right here, my haplogroup, group, compare it to my my DNA again, this is my male DNA. Why DNA? This is what everybody in the UK and Scotland cares about. It's your paternal side. And on my maternal side, I'm unbroken Galbraith, father to son, unbroken chain, all the way to Loch Lomond, all the way to Island Galbraith, to the beginning of Clan Galbraith. But because it comes from my mother, uh, they don't look at that. I'm not allowed, they're telling me to have all my castles, titles, and lands. And I'm going for my ancestral castle. Nothing's going to stop me. But paternally, my Y DNA, you can't even question that. That is Robert the Bruce on my paternal side. And when you look at it, that's my DNA, my SNP. That's my exact y, uh, y DNA, and that's me. So this 1700 uh, CE to Robert the Bruce is my absolute line, my descension from my father to son, unbroken line. But it gets even more amazing than that, is that when you look at my father's side and you look at my chain right here, right here from my father's side that's me that's my biological father that's his father then we go to the bogs and then the bogs married the walkers and the walkers this is an amazing story if you're in londonderry you're related to from george walker the second he's the one that was an English nobility came to Londonderry and he was a governor of Londonderry, fought in the Battle of Boyne, died. And then all of his descendants, if you're a walker from Londonderry and if you're a bog from Londonderry, you're from uh, this George Walker who married Isabella Barclay. It shows right here. George Walker married Barclay. Her dad was Robert Barclay, married Margaret. The Bruce from Bruce the Third of Blair Hall, Clack Manon. And when I sent in my DNA to the House of Bruce, they told me, Jason, look at all your Bruces and see if you're from Clack Manon. And that is where I'm descended from on my paternal side uh, through you know his chain. When you look at it right here, uh, right here, it's Joseph Boggs and Jane Walker, both from Londonderry. Jane Walker is the great granddaughter of this George Walker who married Barclay, who married Margaret the Bruce, the Bruces of Clack Manon. And that's the side that everybody is, uh, that today has a chief. That's the side that my paternal father is from. Uh, and it, it breaks it all down and you can follow it. I mean, they did it on uh, Ancestry.com here, 
but then you can look at other sites too. I have no affiliation with any of this, but you go on this like genie, genie thing here too is the write up of uh, the Boggs. They changed their name from Livingston. Anybody that's a Bog from Londonderry, Ireland, they were the Livingstons of Scotland, a very powerful family exiled to Londonderry and they changed their names to the bogs which they lived in in ireland uh to avoid persecution from the english so when uh joseph my ancestor joseph bog married jane walker it's a little romeo and juliet she's a walker from this george walker who married the barclay her dad married the bruce the bruce is from clackman and that takes me right to robert the bruce's illegitimate son robert of lidsdale and then to Robert the Bruce. And they both left uh, Londonderry, Ireland together and came to uh, Pennsylvania, to the East Coast and South Carolina. And he fought and had his, uh, was executed. The Battle of Omnesey believed that some of the first shots of the colonists uh, independence and they believe researchers believe Joseph died in battle or was executed afterwards. So he was exiled by the English to Londonderry in Ireland, came to the US, fought right before the Revolutionary War against the British and was executed. And he's married to Jane Walker, who comes from a pro predominant, uh, predominant British family, the Walkers. And then his son, that again is my ancestor, uh fought in the revolutionary war and you can track all of this this is this genie site but you can see this is joseph boggs my ancestor he's married to jane walker boggs and then you go that's his son aaron boggs and right here there's jane walker my ancestor your ancestor if you're my son Joseph Boggs, his son, Aaron Boggs, right here, Walkers, again, from George Walker, Londonderry, Joseph Boggs, from the Livingstons of Scotland, changed his name to Boggs, Londonderry, both moved to the East Coast of America, the father executed by the British, his son, Aaron Boggs, right here, this cat has a son, Aaron Boggs Jr., and this cat fought in the Revolutionary War just like his father did against the British because they were exiled to Londonderry and he married, his father married Jane Walker of George Walker, the Walkers of Londonderry. And that's where the Bruce's of Clack Manning comes on my paternal side. And we can all trace it. We can all trace it together. Look, this is, again is a site. This isn't connected to me. That's my ancestor, Aaron Boggs Sr., from his father, Joseph Boggs. And look, he has his son, Aaron Boggs Jr. Right, Aaron Boggs Jr. Aaron Boggs Jr. then marries his Francis Lewis Gardner. Look at these, here's the Boggs. There's Aaron Boggs Jr. He marries Francis. She marries this Edward Garner. You ready? Francis marries Garner. Francis marries Garner. Then she has a kid, Reese Maud Michener. That's my last name, Michener, right there. Reese Maud Michener was Garner. And then she has her son, Thomas Richard Michener. That's my grandpa. It's right here. Thomas Richard Michener. That would be your great grandfather. So we are related to the Boggs and the Walkers. The Walkers are how we're related to the Clackman and Bruce's. And it's all on my father's side. And it's on my father's side in my DNA. My DNA right here, Robert the Bruce. And if you're my son, this is my DNA and my branch, only 108 people out of 6 million users on Family Tree DNA have that Y unbroken DNA. And you can prove that you're from the Clackmannon 
Bruce's all the way up to Robert the Bruce's illegitimate son to Robert the Bruce all on my paternal side and that story is amazing it's one of the greatest stories ever in Scotland and the UK to come from nothing at almost 50 years old an orphan person with tattoos of El Cid and a, a, a Irish clan and I'm not Irish or Spanish I'm all uh, Anglo Scot English and Scottish and Scottish of royalty and that means Donovan you if this is you're my son biological son just by my Y DNA you will have this exact DNA and you, we both will share Robert the Bruce King of the Scots royalty and they married a whole bunch of stewards and you can look at all the royal stewards that I have too they were like so rude to me when I was first finding out who I am. Everybody was trying to gaslight me. Your dad found out all of this, all on my own, using all 21st century technology. Another reason I'm the greatest author of my generation. It's everything that I've utilized in my generation, 21st century technology. I hope you understand, Donovan, what I've accomplished. I hope you read what your mother did, saying she'd waive child support just to turn around when she moved to Maryland demand it then I lost my jobs uh, from the Great Recession from the pandemic and society everybody turned on me saying it's my fault fuck you bro I have 1.47 million dollars that I won for everybody that was fired by Rupert Murdoch that says fuck you it was his fault for firing everybody not mine freaking idiots anybody that doesn't support me just oh I just want to hug their head till it snaps off anyway i hope you read what your mother did to me i hope you know we had an open relationship and that's why you know i wanted to make sure your dna is robert the bruce because mine is and it's all from broken down on my paternal side you can track it on ancestry.com on third party sites that i have no affiliation with you can see the Walkers, the Boggs, to the Gardner, to Michener. And I'm not a Michener. Again, uh, this is all the Walker and Boggs. You can trace all the way to the Bruce's of Clack Bannon. And it goes on and on and on, which is amazing. It's father to son once I get to the Bruce's of Clack Bannon, just like my Galbraiths are all father to son until you get to my biological mother. And then they try to poo poo me because it's my maternal side. Now my paternal side, I have it all. And people were so jealous. University of Strathclyde, they know all this DNA. They know what I have. They know 19BY19223 uh, means only 100 people. And basically the world are that closely related. That's my descent from only my Y DNA to Robert the Bruce, King of the Scots. And you can track all of it also on, on Ancestry, on any other site. The Boggs are well known. The Walkers, the George Walker, married to Barclay, married to Margaret the Bruce. Uh, it's all documented. Anybody can look this up. You can see my ancestry right to me. And this is just amazing. Um, so these are my bogs, bogs to walkers that make me uh, directly related to uh, the Clackman and Bruce. But this is the Michener, and it never, never changed. It goes William H. Best, and it falls off. It w I was never a Michener. It was just a taken on name by this guy that I wrote my first book, the beginning of my trilogies. I wrote my book about him. Thomas William Michener, who fought in the Civil War. And I'm gonna use uh, text-to-video AI technology to make videos for everybody that will be stimulating and well-received. It'll make probably a lot more people buy my books, which is cool. And all my books were written by me, not AI, not a ghostwriter, all by my hard work, by my brain. And I connect them all with my ancestry, my real ancestry, over 20 years into my trilogies. No other author has ever done this, is doing this. You don't have Robert the Bruce's DNA. You can't connect them all in trilogies over 20 years. I've done that. And everything I'm going to do when I go to Scotland with my books and what I'm doing is going to be amazing. Anyway, if you're my son, Donovan, uh, take your DNA test. 
Because you're definitely not... There is no Mitchners. It's Bruce. And uh, that's Father's Day. I hope you read it. Watch this and learn about yourself and get all the brainwash as you get older cleared out. Because when I go to Scotland in 2026 with my book, if I'm well received in Scotland, I'm going to change my name from this this Michener that I'm not even a Michener right to Bruce. I'll be a Jason William Galbraith Bruce. Now that I know I'm a Galbraith on my maternal side and I'm all Bruce on my paternal side and I can prove it all with my DNA with my snips my haplogroup everything only a hundred people in the world have my lineage to Robert the Bruce King of the Scots and it's all documented all proven uh, University of Strathclyde knows my DNA uh, uh, family tree DNA moderators know this I've been contacted with them verifying everything that that's this is all correct it's a rare connection to the Bruce and I'm tied in even closer to him like no other ancestor I have on my paternal side and you can track it so that's about everything uh, anything else uh, I couldn't afford swim lessons for you because again I lost my hundred thousand dollar jobs uh, when you don't have money, I couldn't do swim lessons for you. I couldn't afford Wi-Fi when I was on my boat. I was going to go on Minecraft and try to communicate with you. Uh, everything I put on YouTube is the only way I could communicate with you. I thought traditional media, some journalists would pick up this story. The only way a divorced father can reach out to the son is through YouTube. I thought that was pretty interesting. Again, using 21st century technology, YouTube by promoting my books, trying to reach out to my son, everything that I've ever done. And that again is why I'm the greatest author of my generation, utilizing everything in my generation, DNA, print on demand technology, social media, YouTube, everything. And Donovan, you need to understand how much your father's accomplished, what I've done, and take your DNA test. And if you have the exact same DNA to Robert the Bruce, then you are my son. And I would expect that you'll do everything you can to fight for your connection. And when I go to Scotland, if I'm well received in everything, I'm looking at changing, yeah, my last name to Bruce. And if you somehow figure out who you are, then you should change your last name to Bruce as well. And we will both be direct descendants from Robert the Bruce King of Scots. Cheers. Happy Father's Day.